DNA Replication by James and Hansen. The first thing that happens in DNA replication is the unzipping of the double helix structure of the DNA strand. An enzyme called helicase is responsible for this and does so by breaking the hydrogen bonds holding the complementary bases of DNA together. The initiation point where the splitting starts is called origin of replication. The replication origin forms a Y shape and is called a replication fork. When the two parent strands of DNA are separated to begin replication, one strand is oriented in the 5' to 3' direction, while the other strand is oriented in the 3' to 5' direction. DNA replication, however, is inflexible. The enzyme that carries out the replication, DNA polymerase, only functions in the 5' to 3' direction. This characteristic of DNA polymerase means that the daughter strand synthesizes through different methods one adding nucleotides one by one in the direction of the replication fork, the other able to add nucleotides only in chunks. The first strand, which replicates nucleotides one by one, is called the leading strand. The other strand, which replicates in chunks, is called the lightning strand. DNA single-stranded binding proteins. These proteins bind to the DNA and stabilize the single-stranded structure that is generated by the action of the helicases. Replication is 100 times faster when these proteins are attached to the single-stranded DNA. For the leading strand, an enzyme called primase produces a short piece of RNA called a primer that binds to the end of the leading strand. This primer is where the start of the DNA replication for the leading strand begins. The DNA polymerase then binds to the leading strand and simply sits near the replication fork, moving as the fork does and starts adding on the complementary nucleotide bases accordingly. Since DNA replication moves along the parent strand in the 5' to 3' direction, replication can occur very easily on the leading strand. The nucleotides are added in the 5' to 3' direction as a result. Afterwards, a nucleotide replacement enzyme is needed to remove the initial RNA primer of leading strand synthesis. The lagging strand. While the DNA polymerase on the leading strand can only follow the replication fork because DNA polymerase must move in the 5' to 3' direction on the lagging strand, the enzyme must move away from the fork. For the lagging strand, numerous primers are produced by the primase and are binded to various points along the lagging strand. Another DNA polymerase binds onto the lagging strand and creates new DNA from the ends of each RNA primer. These are called the Okazaki fragments. While each individual segment is replicated away from the replication fork, each subsequent Okazaki fragment is replicated more closely to the receding replication fork than the fragment before. Each subsequent Okazaki fragment starts closer to the replication fork and continues until it meets the previous fragment. Afterwards, nucleotide replacement enzyme is needed frequently to remove the primers of lagging strand synthesis. Finally, an enzyme called DNA ligase is needed for the completion of the DNA replication process. DNA ligases close gaps in the phosphodiester backbone of DNA. They are essential for the joining of Okazaki fragments. Thank you for watching.